Hello and welcome to my first semester final project video presentation on the subject network penetration. This video is about exploiting the printer service on Windows machines. If you're sharing a printer and you're able to say yes according to the diagram here, then you are either vulnerable or not vulnerable. Of course, this is a high security risk, so if you're staying updated you would not be vulnerable even though you're sharing the printer and so on. In this video I will be running two virtual machines one on the left with Backtrack 5 and one on the right with Windows Server 2003. Okay so let's get started. We start up the Metasploit framework on the Backtrack installation. This takes a while so in the right virtual machine I'll be showing off the different windows that I prepared. First of all we need to check up that the a printer is shared and it's if it's shared which name it will have. This is not 100% essential but it's nice to know. All of these informations on the Windows server are also obtainable by using the nmap on Backtrack 5. So one of the folders that will be used during the hack is the Windows System32 folder. Inside this folder all the normal printing jobs will uh, tempor temporarily reside and actually the exploit will be transferring an executable file including a meter printer session and for this to work we need to check out which IP address we are using as remote host and as local host. Here you can see the nmap commands. There's a lot of different commands and um, if you're using this uh, on your own you can just check in the help file here. There's for example OS detection and there's really a ton of different options. But right now I can see the actual IP so I'm just going to use it. The server IP is essential for the payload to work and we need to type it in later on. First of all we use the exploit that I put in the headline first in the video. This is MS10061 spool SSS. This exploit is capable of running our malicious code. We are going to set in a payload. Of course, I need to spell that right. So, setting the payload to a meter pre session. We're going to use a reverse session so that the session is actually started from the server and to the attacker machine. To check which options is already set, I'm just going to maximize. We will run the command show options. Here we can see the P name, this is the printer name, and we can see the remote host. And the remote host does not have any current setting. Also, the local host does not have any setting, so these we are going to put in. I need the local host IP address, which is the IP address of the Backtrack machine, 10.0.1.18. We set this in by using this command. And we also set the remote host, which we can see on the Windows machine, is 10.0.1.19. Now we can see in the show options that the settings are set. And we are actually ready now to fire off the exploit. I will do a Wireshark capture just to check the traffic. You can actually see that there will be transferred an exploit and yeah, there's a lot of s interesting stuff. So now the exploit is running and you can see that it, it is attempting to exploit and everything is fine. Meter Predator Session 1, open it. This means that we now have a session open it. The session is started. 
and we're actually on the computer right now. Right here you can see the name of the executable that has been transferred. This is an executable which was transferred to the system32 folder and you can actually see now that the file is running in the task manager. Of course this is a little suspicious and you can migrate it via a command in the meter preview session so that it looks like it's Internet Explorer or whatever you really want to migrate to. You can see now by the get UID that we have full authority and we can also check out the hash values of the administrator password and whichever user really on the server. We can take a screenshot just to check out the actual disk on the server right now. Um, you can do a lot of other different stuff and I will just show you here with the help command that there's really a lot of funky stuff. You can get a desktop, you can start the webcam and uh, you can also shut down the machine. So, of course, I wanted to show you the data transfer, so I'll just cut this video and start up the server again with a Wireshark capture. So, back again with a new capture. I'm going to follow the TCP stream from the 100118, the attacking machine. I'm going to look up for a .exe file. This .exe is the executable that has been transferred through the printing exploit fired off from the attacking machine. The exploit is actually transferring this executable and you can see that this corresponds to the meta exploit framework which displayed that it wrote uh, some bytes to the system32 folder and this is the actual meter preter executable. This is a virus so it would be detected by antivirus software in general. Also a little lower you can see the .mof file and this is also essential for the exploit to work. The .mof is a automatic schedule task which takes care of executing the executable. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed and good luck trying this out on your own setup.